Hi there, boys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about your adaptation slide for the animal research report that you've been working on. Remember, this Google slideshow for the template of your animal research report came in your email. It says animal research slideshow template. So you should already have been working on that because yesterday I asked you to do the title page where you chose your animal and typed in your name. You did the introduction where you found two interesting facts about your animal and then the hard one. You did the conclusion where all you had to do was type the name of your animal. So we have three slides done. Today this video will be about slide number eight, adaptations and survival. It's the one right above the conclusion one. So in this slide you'll need to do the following. You'll need to make sure you're writing three to five sentences that answer the following questions. Does your animal have a special feature to survive? How does that special feature help them? And does it have any behavioral or physical adaptations to survive? Remember we talked about adaptations yesterday on my big poster? A behavioral adaptation is something that your animal does to help it survive. Does it run really fast in order to survive and catch its prey? Does it migrate? Does it move to some place warmer in order to survive because it needs to be warm? Does your animal hibernate in the winter time in order to survive? Those are behaviors, things that they do to help them live. A physical adaptation is like, what does it do to its body? How does it change in order to survive? So camouflage is a physical adaptation because it changes the way that it looks to either hide from its predator or to hide from its prey, right? Uh, mimicry, remember we talked about mimicry? Mimicry is when it takes on the look of something in nature in order to survive, like the leaf butterfly. Or how about the walking stick that looks like a, like a twig, right? Those are physical adaptations in order for it to blend in with the environment so that it's not able to be seen. So you want to include those kinds of things. Remember, adaptation just means how does your animal behave in order to survive, all right? Now, when I talk about special features, I ta I'm talking about does it have a trunk or a beak or claws or um, slimy skin or does it, um, can it rotate its head? Like stuff like that. Does it have fur or special spots that help it to survive? Okay, so those are the adaptations that I am talking about. If you're having any trouble finding an adaptation, boys and girls, please let me know. Also, please do not confuse adaptations with what an animal looks like. So on our adaptation slide, you're not going to tell me how tall your animal is or how much it weighs or what color its fur is unless those are things that explain how it, how it survives or how it has adapted to its environment. So if you're telling me that a cheetah has, or a giraffe has spots, these patterns on its fur. Don't tell me just to tell me that on the adaptation slide. You're going to tell me that because it uses those patterns on its body to blend in with the trees. And of course, that makes it harder for animals to spot the giraffe, right? Oh, a special feature of the giraffe is its long neck, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Very good. So I'm going to show you what I did for mine. So I'm going to click onto my slideshow. Now remember, you are supposed to do the title page, which I did, the introduction page, where I found two interesting facts about my animal, the sloth, of course, my baby, 
And then I finished up that conclusion right down here by adding the word sloth. Okay. Now my adaptations and survival page is this one right here. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to show you the presentation mode. And you can see here, there's my three to five sentences right here. I know there's three to five sentences because it has a period at the end. So if I exit out of this and I go back to it, I have one period there. I have two, three, four, five, six, and seven sentences. Now it's more than three to five sentences, but that's okay. Please at least have three. And remember, you've got to answer those questions that I posed here. So does my animal have a special feature? Sure does. The sloth special feature is its sharp claws. Oh, the sloth special features, its sharp claws, are used in many ways. Remember, my next question is, how does their special feature help them? Well, here we go. I'm going to explain it. Along with helping sloths climb trees, the sloth's claws help to defend itself from predators. Do you see how I talked about what a sloth looks like, its claws, by not really talking about what it looks like, right? I just talked about that one special feature, their claw. When a sloth is concerned or cornered or caught, they use their claws to slash at their predator. They will also bite, shriek, and hiss to defend itself. So I've already answered number two. Does it have any physical or behavioral adaptations that help it survive? Remember, how does it behave? What does it do to help it survive? Or what does it look like to help it survive? Well, here we go. Because sloths eat so much plants, they have developed a physical adaptation. That means that I'm going to talk about how they've changed their look in order to adapt. Algae, which is a tiny aquatic type of plant, tends to grow on their fur. This algae helps the sloth camouflage itself in the trees um, because the algae is green. And so I included a picture here and I'll show it to you in the presentation mode. Do you see how its, it's uh, fur looks kind of green? So its physical adaptation is that green algae that grows on its fur and it almost makes it blend in with the trees. Now I've, uh, I've added two pictures here. Whoops. I've added two pictures here. The picture of the sloth with the algae and I even wrote a caption here to, to describe what the picture is all about. And then I did a close-up picture of a sloth's claws. And I added this diagram here with a caption. Now you can do the same thing as well. But if you cannot find the pictures yet, boys and girls, or you want to maybe save the diagram and a picture for last, that's fine too. You don't have to necessarily finish all of this today, okay? You might just want to do the research first. So remember, go on to Clever and go to my page where I have all of the science websites for you to do your animal um, research. And remember, don't go to all of them. Just choose two or three resources where you can gather all your information. Have fun, boys and girls. I cannot wait to see what you, what you come up with for your animal. And remember, if you need help with the adaptation slide or even choosing an animal, please let me know as soon as possible. Have fun, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.